Today I'm going to show you how to turn your logo from this into this All done using only Photoshop Let's go Yo, what is Chris Dixon, your boy from Intuitive Designs. Now, before we begin, you will need to download this plugin called iCandy. We will be using this to create that Chrome 3D look. Download links below, guys, so go get it set up before you continue. While we're waiting, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. All right, once you're done, head over to Photoshop and create a new document. Go to this print tab and select A4. Make sure orientation is set in horizontal and then the background contents to black and hit create. After that, just drag and drop your logo to the new document. Now, this effect works with all kinds of logos. So don't worry if your logo is different than mine. Now, let's convert the logo layer to smart object. Hit command T on your keyboard and then just size it down to about so. Center it and make sure it isn't too big otherwise it will take longer for photoshop to render your logo later something like this should work right now hit command j on your keyboard to duplicate the logo layer let's rename the first one to chrome and the second one to extrusion after that turn off the chrome layer and the black background layer because we will start off with creating the extrusion depth for the logo first so go to 3d and select new 3d extrusion from selected layer now bad news guys photoshop is removing this 3d workspace but they're doing it very very slowly there used to be a lot more controls and stuff but you know we can still make it work with the current version all right so once we're in the 3d workspace something like this should happen to your logo now let's head over to the properties tab here and then set the extrusion depth to 1000 this is just my preference of course if you want it to be thinner just go with a lower number now the thing we don't want is the shadow under the logo this one however if i turn it off by unticking this cast shadows box it takes it out but it also takes out the smaller details inside of the extrusion so let's leave the shadow for now and we'll fix it later in post there's a lot of stuff you can do here guys for example the shape presets here lots of cool presets that you can apply to your logo let me show you guys around what else you can do um, let's go to materials by clicking on this button and you can change the texture on the surface of your logo lots of things you can do like i said but really we only need the extrusion for this tutorial so let's go back to default next we'll change the perspective of the logo by selecting the current view layer and select the first control button and you can change the angle and tilt it around like so how cool is that guys i kind of like this one a lot but i don't want to confuse you guys too much for this so i'm going to keep it very basic now you can also play with the other four controls under the 3d mode section this one rotates the logo and this one um, kind of pans it around i guess go ahead and give it all a try guys but like i said just now i'm gonna keep it very basic for the tutorial just tilt the logo downward like this next go to infinite light and up the shadow to 10 percent and the intensity to 100 final step is of course rendering it so go to 3d and select render 3d layer now render time may take a while depending on your computer mine usually takes about five minutes for something as simple as this you can see the render time here at the bottom left corner so i'll talk to you guys again in a bit once it's done rendering All right guys the rendering is now done let's exit the 3d workspace by clicking on the workspace button on the top right corner here and then just select your preferred workspace next we're going to duplicate the extrusion layer so hit command j on your keyboard and turn the original layer off and rasterize the copy now we're going to get rid of the shadow underneath the logo and clean up the stray pixels that we cannot see with our eyes now if i hit command t on my keyboard you can see what i mean so first hold the command key on your keyboard and click on the thumbnail of the extrusion layer to bring up the selection and then add a mask layer like this next hold the option key on your keyboard and click on the mask layer to bring up the full view of the mask layer and then use the brush tool make sure that it is hard round brush 
and all the settings are set in 100 and then set the mode to overlay size up the brush to 100 and then just brush over the shadow area like this make sure you go all the way to the edges too to really get to those straight pixels uh, let's brush it over one more time to finish off the shadow and then turn the mode back to normal and then just brush it around one more time just to be sure now just click on the thumbnail to go back to our original view and then apply the mask layer and we're all set next turn on the background layer convert the extrusion layer to smart object and turn on the chrome layer now your logo might be slightly off because when we were applying the tilt in a 3d workspace earlier it might have shifted your logo a little bit don't worry we're gonna fix it very easy by hitting command t on your keyboard right click and then select distort and then just drag these points around to match your extrusion logo now your logo may not have this issue if you don't then you can just skip this part all right guys now that's done let's go to filter exposure software and eye candy now in the plugin there's tons of effects you can choose like this brush metal or this marble or my favorite thing which is this lightning i almost always use it for my shirt designs but yeah let's head back to chrome since that's what um, we're doing today and under chrome drop down select round outdoor we're not gonna mess with the settings because personally i think this looks very good already what's cool is you can add your own texture to it and it will then apply to your logo with that chrome effect next go to bevel profile and pick a profile that you like in my case i really like this button one so i'm gonna go with that after this we're gonna add a color overlay to the extrusion layer set the blend mode to color and then just pick one that you really really like i'm just gonna go with this purple because i like how it's got that subtle hint of pink to it as well so that's kind of cool in my opinion now you can further manipulate it by using the curves tool to brighten up the extrusion layer a bit or make it darker whichever you prefer now for the chrome layer you can use the selective color tool to shift the color tone a bit to best match the purple extrusion select neutrals under the color drop down in my case i'm going with 30 magenta 30 yellow and then negative 10 for black and then go to the white channel and then set the cyan to 50 magenta 100 yellow negative 100 and black 50. this will make the chrome color match the purple in the background better next you can also use the curves tool to burn up the chrome effect so now i'm going to add a noise layer to the whole design this is just my way of doing it so i'll create a new layer hit option delete on your keyboard to bring up this fill window set 50 percent gray for the contents hit ok then go to filter noise add noise and then set the amount to 20 percent and gaussian for the distribution tick monochromatic and hit ok next just change the blending mode to soft light and then drop the opacity all the way to 30 percent and we're done now this next step is optional but personally i like it when the logo has a bit of a glow to it so to add that effect is very easy select all the layers except the noise and then option command e to merge them into one separate layer convert that layer to smart object add a gaussian blur set the blending mode to screen drop the opacity down a bit so it doesn't look too blown up that is it guys if i zoom in you can see just how cool the logo looks up close and yeah that is all for today guys like and subscribe for more videos like this check out my store for free assets and mockups see you on the next one